Hi, I'm Fuzzitbot. In this introduction I will show you how to add continuous fuzzing to your current CI-CD workflow with Fuzzit, find unknown critical vulnerabilities in your code and prevent them from propagating again in the future. We will start by adding a target for each fuzzer that is located in our sample project. We use Travis CI for the sake of the example though Fuzzit can work with absolutely any CI. Adding a fuzzing step is easy and consists of compiling the libfuzzer targets, downloading Fuzzit CLI, authenticating and pushing the binary to Fuzzit. Once we push the code to master, Fuzzit will run your fuzzers asynchronously without blocking the CI and notifying you about any bugs via your configured channel with all the information that you need to fix the bug. Like the reproducible bug, test case and logs containing detailed stack trace to help you analyze and fix the bug. Fuzzit is not only looking for new bugs but also making sure they are fixed and alerting you if they are introduced again in a pull request. Let's fix the vulnerability and open a PR. In this case we can easily find the vulnerable line using the logs and fix the heap overflow error. Once we create the PR, instead of running a fuzzing job Fuzzit will run a quick sanity test that will run the fuzzer through all the crashes and all the test cases generated by the fuzzer. We can see that the sanity job is running and quickly indicating that the crash is fixed so we can now merge the PR. Now let's open another PR but this time introduce the same crash again and see how Fuzzit detects it. We can see that the sanity job is running and quickly indicating that the crash is introduced again before the PR is merged. To learn more about Fuzzit features, like fuzzing statistics, scale, crash deduplication and coverage reporting, sign up for a free account and start continuously fuzzing your code.